So, my name is Kay Cabro, they them pronouns, and I'm here with the Queen's Club of the Communist Party. And who am I speaking with? Uh, Vincent Flores, he him pronouns. And we're, we are at Washington Square Park, uh, around NYU buildings. Are you an NYU student? Yes, I'm NYU's engineer. All right, uh, so could you let us know what's been going on lately? Why am I hearing a helicopter in the background? Yeah. And what's that back there? Um, well, there's obviously been pro-Palestine protests since everything happened and started in October. Um, but yesterday, because of what's going on at Columbia, Yale, we had an encampment on Gold Plaza in front of Stern Business School. Um, peaceful protests, faculty and students took part and NYU decided to call NYPD and bring the police in to clear a peaceful protest. And there was over 140 students and faculty arrested. And faculty spent the night in jail with their students. Um, so this, what you're seeing here, is a response to what happened yesterday, and there's gonna be much more to come, so. All right, and do we have any details about what's to come or like how people are thinking about this on the ground? Uh, I mean, like if anything, this has just made people more impassioned to stand up. Obviously, we go to NYU, we go, we're very privileged students, so it's kind of like a requirement for us. So if anything, what happened last night made us more impassioned. And I think just a lot more of what you're seeing is gonna happen now, a lot more uh, things in the park, a lot more things at NYU, a lot more walkouts. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, so we're about a block, maybe two blocks away from where the NYU students were camping out over there. I don't know if you can cut over there and see some of the wood or maybe we'll capture it later. We'll do it, yeah, we'll do it okay. later, we'll cut it in. All right. But um, clearly, I can speak to that a little bit too. Like, yeah, after the encampment last night, now there's wooden boards and a police officer slash campus security not sure walking outside of Stern School, and they put wooden boards out to block the school off. Now in front of Bob Star Library, there's police all in front of it. You can't get in it without showing identification. Uh, and then the plaza in between Bob's and another building, they have completely shut off and have a whole ID checkpoint. So. Yeah. What are your demands? So I'm not completely well-versed with all of them, but I know the big ones are for NYU to be transparent about where they're sending their money. So to basically, uh, um, not unleash, but release their financial records uh, and divest from NYU Tel Aviv, close the global site we have there and divest from all, everything in that Israeli government, Israeli, Israel in general. Um, there might be a few more, I'm not, I think those are the two most important ones. Though. So you're telling me that NYU students are paying money to go to the school and they don't know where their money is going after it leaves their hands. Exactly. We're paying for the school $80,000 a year and it's going towards a genocide where more than 40,000 people have been killed. So. But that 80000 doesn't pay for free speech, apparently. Apparently not. So apparently it also pays for NYU to get NYPD in and disrupt a peaceful protest. So. We'd seen enough at NYU, so we decided to travel just eight blocks to check out the picket line at the new school. All right, and so we're here. The encampment is just inside the building, correct? Yeah, it's just inside of the building, uh, like right past the gates. We just have a security turnstile, so it looks a little different than the other encampments of the city. All right, and how long has it been here? Um, so, okay, we entered, we entered the building on Admitted Students Day, which was on Sunday in the morning, and we've been here ever since, so we're on day three now. All right, and why are the students camping out here? I mean, we're camping out, uh, I think so, like, Columbia really lit up a spark. Um, and so the minute that happened, we were like, shit, we gotta do the same thing. Sorry to be like, um, But no, I mean, we're camping out uh, in solidarity with Columbia, but more importantly, um, because we're demanding that our university divest um, from any companies that are funding the genocide in Gaza and the occupation of Gaza. Um, the new school hasn't even disclosed any of their endowment. Um, like, uh, presently, if you do research, you can find stuff, but, um, but we're demanding them uh, stop funding that with our tuition dollars. Um, we will be here till they do that. So yeah, we were talking with an NYU student just a few blocks down, and they said the same thing, that the financial records of the university are not public, so you're paying money and you don't know where it's going. That's yeah. correct? Yeah, it's crazy. It's, that's correct. That's correct. And is the new school public or private? It's a private school, yeah. So you pay a lot of money um, and you have a lot of questions. 
And so, have you met any resistance here? I know the, the police have been pretty harsh on the students at Columbia. Yeah, I mean, so it's funny. The, the cops have been called on us like three times by students, um, but not by administration. Um, administration is really trying to play good cop right now and not call the cops on us. Um, but the administration has threatened us with suspension. Um, they have ripped down our posters. They stepped on our posters that have the names of um, academic Palestinian martyrs. Um, and they continue to threaten us and, um, and, and try to mess with us. There's also some like uh, Zionist students on campus who have like engaged a little bit, but there hasn't actually been as many counter protesters student wise as I thought there would be. Wow. So did I get, did I hear that properly? You said the administrators have torn down the signs and stepped on them. Yeah, yesterday they were touring, they were tearing down signs off the window because it violates the poster policy. Um, and they were ripping them in half and we had this long list of um, academic martyrs in Gaza and they had stepped on it. And it, uh, it's hard to kind of read that as anything but um, provocative. Wow, so I know that there have been accusations about all these encampments and the student protesters being anti-Semitic. Yeah. Uh, has that been true? I mean, I mean, I'm Jewish myself, and like the school uh, opened a Title VI case against me for protesting a Hillel event in which the IOF, an IOF soldier was on campus. Um, so, like, no, it's not anti-Semitic. We, we had we had Seder here last night. Um, a lot of us are Jewish. I think a lot of us understand our Judaism in a lineage of um, of opposing this type of oppression and of, and of, and of opposing genocide, um, and don't don't understand our Judaism strictly through the vein of like a nation state. Um, so no, it's not anti-Semitic, and I'm like really in, uh, so sick of this dialogue because it's so old. I think we have some footage of the UAW sign back there, and there's also a 32BJ sign. What's up with that? Yeah, so the unions um, have been really, really imperative for this because they've been providing the outside support, and um, so shout out to the unions. But um, yeah, UAW, the, the part-time faculty at the new school, as well as the academic student workers are under um, or, uh, UAW 7902, and they've been super supportive. The other thing that we're dealing with is that the non-academic student workers, the people who work in the print shops, the RAs, etc., they don't have a union. They've been pushing for recognition through the school, and the school has not allowed them to join under the umbrella of UAW, our chapter here. Um, so they're also, they're picketing here to say, you need to let us, you need to give us your like our rights, you need to let us be recognized um, by the NLRB. Um, and that like without our labor, this school falls apart because the school runs on like underpaid student labor. That's the that's the main thing. And they're being threatened with suspension for protesting. Um, so I think that like we can trace all of the threads of capitalism, imperialism. Um, but the union is really a vital infrastructure here, and we are in solidarity with them, and we're here for them just as much as they are for us in terms of Palestine. All right. Thanks for speaking with us. Yeah. Do you do you believe that this is winnable? to believe it's winnable. We have to believe it's winnable. Yeah, we have to.